Welcome to Kosher.com's Book Nook, where every week we read a short story from a book. Grab your blankie and squishmallow and let's go. This week, we're going to be reading from Living Shops, heartwarming stories about shops. Story, a gift for a gift. Absolutely love this story and I think you will too. Life in Tripoli was calm and every day the same. Tripoli is a place in Libya. One day, an evil ruler came into power. His name was Muammar Gaddafi. Did you hear the new law? Mrs. Shoshani asked her neighbor, Rahul. Muammar Gaddafi just passed a law that all Jewish children must go to school on Shabbos. What are we going to do? Rahul looked at her neighbor in shock and ran home to tell her husband the terrible news. What are we going to do, Rahul cried. We can't send Avram to school on Shabbos. Her husband Yehuda stroked his beard thoughtfully. We must try to leave the country as soon as possible, he said slowly. Things are not safe for the Jews here anymore. He thought quietly for a moment. I cannot pay the teacher to let Avram stay home on Shabbos. If I do, the government may find out and put me in jail. And Avram's teacher is way too strict to allow him to stay home every Saturday. I must think of a plan. The next day, Yehuda came to Avram's school with the wrapped gift. It was an expensive book. Yehuda handed the book to Avram's teacher and said, Here it is a gift for you. It is to thank you for the wonderful year you are giving my son. You teach him so well, and he is learning so much, and for that, I must say thank you. If Avram has another good month in school, I will bring you another gift. That Shabbos, Avram did not go to school. On Sunday, the teacher did not punish him for staying home. She was hoping to get another gift by the end of the month. Sure enough, Avram stayed home on Shabbos and the teacher did not bother him that whole month. Yehuda came back to the teacher with another gift. Thank you for the excellent education, he said with a smile as he handed her another expensive book. This continued for three years until the family was finally able to leave to Eretz Yisrael. It was only then that Yehuda told his son what has really been going on this whole time. Each month I stuck money into the pages of the book to bribe your teacher without getting caught. We were not rich, but for Shabbos, there is no other way. Avram grew up to be a very special person who kept Shabbos carefully and lovingly. His father teaches us how precious Shabbos is at any cost. Maybe you wish you can play with your new electronic toys on Shabbos or simply brush out the knots in your hair. By holding ourselves back from doing these things, we are showing how valuable Shabbos is to us. Have a wonderful Shabbos.